When we're installing the doors, we need to install some flashing that covers the bottom. And that's so that rain doesn't get into sips and in between your floors because the side walls don't go all the way down where your door is. So you're gonna just stretch this out, find center, and tape it in place. Don't tell anybody. We're bracing this door to allow us to make really minor adjustments to make it absolutely plumb. Uh, this one needs to come, Ooh. yeah, right there. Doors are plumb. Doors are plumb. Can you get the audience? <laughs> <laughs> Say hi, everyone. Is that Zach? <laughs> I'll sign autographs later, guys. This is pretty much all the hardware to put the lattice pieces together. Exactly how to do that is in the instruction manual that is also included. Da -da -da. Instructions, instructions. It's like Ikea, just a lot bigger. Ah! No, it's good. Sorry. <laughs> Dick. <laughs> Sorry. You didn't jump that much. I don't care about you that much. Now I have a man riveted to my, to my lattices. Great. She's going to be One there on the outside. Yeah. I'll charge you right. Yes. <laughs> We have all the rivets and bolts, washers, connectors on the bottom, they're all in. Now it's ready to go vertical. It's time to put these walls up. asking why I'm standing on this plank of wood right now. We used our little jig to uh, keep the lattice down while my man Joey down here is screwing in the cross ties. He's just putting in two right now. We'll put in the rest a little later when we've got the time. Did you know I'm scaffolding certified? Uh, yes, you've told me about a dozen times. Yeah, but just you know, <laughs> you need any tips. So show me how this goes together. Yeah, it goes uh, <clears throat> probably somewhere around this area. You're, t uh, you're actually wrong, though. <laughs> no, 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 it goes right here. You have to drill another hole. Okay. Did, did, I, did I mention that I'm not scaffold build certified? I'm actually just safety certified. So what's- Hold it. Big constructed. I can tell you how to not fall off of it. Sounds... <laughs> Wait, did you actually take a scaffolding course? Yeah. You took a five hour scaffolding course and they didn't actually tell you how to put it together. It wasn't an assemble scaffolding tutorial. It was just... What else is... What else is there? It was just like, uh, if you see a scaffolding without a ladder, don't climb on it. It was pretty much like that for four hours. Now what do we do? Oh, f <laughs> Wait, Zach. I gotta get my pump on. Okay. I'm on break. Once these rafters are done, you have to put these brackets in. And this is actually what attaches uh, to the ring when it slides in. So this, this rod goes into the hole in the ring, and then this bracket goes in, and we put another screw to hold it in place.
So we've got the, the ring in here. We're just gonna drill out these holes a little bit more to a half inch diameter, uh, just so that the pins from the rafters fit in a little easier. So we're putting uh, this painter tape around the circumference of the yurt, and each one of these blue tape pieces signifies where a, raft is, a rafter is gonna go. We're gonna number these, each of these holes, in succession, one, two, three, seven, eight. And then once this is all numbered all the way around, we're gonna number on these, we're gonna put numbers on each of these pieces of blue tape that corresponds to the hole. That way when the ring is up there, we can just yell out number eight, and we know exactly where number eight's gonna go in the, near the lattice and where it's gonna go in the ring. So we're gonna keep going. 9, 10, 11, 12. If you have a, a dome that opens and closes, you're going to have this bracket. You have to know where this is going to go based on where the prevailing wind of the area is going to be. So it's not, uh, the wind's not going to just rip your dome straight off. A lot of rafters. I just want everyone to know I did a great job. My my lips are like they're not warmed up enough to talk. <laughs> they're numb. Whose ever idea it was to build a yurt in November? Terrible idea. <laughs> There's so much frost everywhere. It's slippery. It's cold. But we're making really good progress. All the rafters are up. There's a couple more things that we need to do before the roof actually goes on. Jory here is putting on the rods for the eagle blocks. These are uh, optional, um, they're an optional option from Rainier. <laughs> uh, and they pretty much just provide more support and bracing between the, the rafters. Got the rods in, so we're installing the eagle blocks. And we made this jig here, <clears throat> two one by ones and a two by four at a 30 degree, setting it right on top like that. And that will make the eagle blocks perpendicular with the ground. Ryan is doing the small blocks and killing it. I'm doing the large blocks and not killing it. It's slow. Yeah. 
They do recommend in the instruction manual to wear a hard hat. And now I know why. Yeah! 30 minutes later, I got one in. I am so happy to be done with that. It's over. It's over. Yeah. The woodwork is done.